Your cappuccino, sir. Thank you, sir. Perfect as always. Have a nice day. No, close. I said close. Hot. Damn it, that was oh, hot. Oh, I'm what the so hell? sorry, sir. I spilled it all over you. Let me help. It's okay. High priority alert from the Ministry of Justice makers. What's this now? Legal infraction detected. Oh, shit. Congratulations. You have been selected to participate in the alpha release of the Eyes of Justice system for the intelligent detection and immediate adjudication of violations of the laws of New Union. Do you wish to upgrade to the premium defense attorney bot for an additional 200 credits at this time? No. I've got a council meeting in five minutes. You selected standard defense. Initiating virtual litigation now. You have been found guilty by your simulated peers of battery. What? An intentional or foreseeable physical contact with a person means. without consent that results in bodily harm or is offensive to a reasonable sense of dignity. The fine is 500 credits. Oh, Plus shit. the civil settlement agreed to by your standard defense bot is 500 credits compensatory damages for moderate suffering and repair of personal effects and 1500 shit. credits punitive damages. Court costs incurred to date are 200 credits. Would you like to appeal these judgments for an additional court Can't cost right. of 200 sure, credits? Initiating appeal. Appeal has exhausted all channels and is denied. Total owed. 2,900 credits, payable uh, immediately. Uh, Accounts at First Street Bank, liquidated. Automobile, oh shit. confiscated and liquidated. Congratulations. Equity forfeiture now sufficient to cover balance due. Thank you for using Eyes of Justice. Would you like to leave a review? Oh, someone's going to hear about this. Huh, 2,000 credits deposited. Nice. Esteemed committee members, I now call our session to order. First item is an exciting update. We have just completed the pilot of the Eyes of Justice program. We've increased identification of infractions by an estimated factor of 15, while reducing the holistic resource load of the legal system by a factor of 30, and reduced the end-to-end -end time frame of justice processing times from weeks to mere minutes in most cases. But while the feedback by victims of crimes are universally positive, we have a perception problem amongst the accused. And I'm embarrassed to report that I caught myself among the unfortunate victims of an improperly wide netcast, as do some of you, perhaps. Sure. So, while I dutifully atone for my own lapses, my imperfectly calibrated automobile AI reached 81 in an 80 zone, but I do not believe that the situation was the intent of that speed law, for example. Therefore, I will explain my plan to upgrade the justice program shortly. But first, I must declare Eyes of Justice an overwhelming success. Honorable Chief Justice, if I may. Uh, the council recognizes the late and again great Vice Justice Maker Birdle. And as most of you are aware, Vice Spurtle faced an untimely demise in April, but has been uploaded to the latest neural network and Android body, and is doing much better by now. Indeed. Thank you, Chief Justice Maker. My team has also looked into this issue. We posit that the root of the matter is the citizenry are uncomfortable with the strict interpretation of the laws used by the eyes of justice. A more nuanced understanding of the law is the barrier to its efficient enforcement. I couldn't agree more. Thank you, my late friend. 
Thus, I come before you today to announce two new modules to the Justice System AI platform. First, I present the Spirit of Justice. I'm sending details to your AR displays now. This is a technological breakthrough, a leap from the large language models used to train AIs in the past to what I'm fond of calling a large idea model. We will use the superior power of 12th generation AI to infer the spirit of the law, to understand the intent by those who wrote the laws. This is essentially what judges have historically done in their interpretive roles. Chief Justice Maker, my team also identified a surge of scofflaws willfully committing minor violations as a protest or social movement. While we can now efficiently deal with the offenders, we risk normalizing maladaptive behavior. I fear the current regime of only enforcing civil and financial penalties is holding us back in this regard. So, what do you propose? Thank you for the insightful question, Vice Minister. That brings me to my final new module of the Justice Making AI platform. Now that we've perfected the identification of infractions and the newly introduced interpretation of our laws, the last natural model is enforcement automation. So meet talons of justice. This extends the aforementioned modules with the ability to efficiently enforce criminal penalties. It will interface with the humanoid security bots and the correctional facility management bots to enact an end-to-end -end system, so to speak. The results will be revered as a groundbreaking advance in fairness, expediency, and convenience across the full life cycle of justice, aligned with our most treasured values. And I'll now take questions. Yes, ma'am. Elder, hand over your IntelliWatch. Damn, ninja punks. Okay, here, kid. <coughs> Offline? Where's Eyes of Justice when you need it? Hand over your AR goggles, too. <sighs> okay, take them. What's going on in this town? Everyone, please take your seats. Members of the press, members of the council, and representatives of the public institutions, thank you for convening during these chaotic times. As you know by now, the spirit of justice system, in coordination with the eyes of justice and talons of justice, removed the chief justice maker calling from his position and incarcerated him in penal colony 7b for the crime of abuse of power and operating beyond the ministry's mandates. Our system took only seconds to interpret the intent of 18 AI laws passed by four jurisdictions across five decades and interpreted by dozens of courts, considering debates and even concomitant personal communications from the law writers, and by extension, it found itself illegal and disabled itself altogether, leaving a gap to say the least. Now settle down please, everyone please. As acting Chief Justice Maker, I see clearly that we cannot strictly enforce the letter of the law, nor can we only train a modern justice system on historical sources. Our history is rife with slavery, genocide, colonialism, and wars, cobbled together with more corruption than we'll ever even know about, rewritten by the victors and interpreted per the blowing winds of each era. Clearly, superior justice for the future cannot be found in the past, 
but may be found in the purity of the present. We scoured New Union to find the purest soul among our brothers and sisters, the conscience of this one young girl. Her name is Kara, and she will be our North Star, or standard of morality. She has passed every test we could formulate for pureness of heart and selflessness of will. Instead of a vague and subjective reasonable person test currently found throughout the law, our AI will use a neural interface to distill and systematize the answer to the question, what would Kara do? Thus she shall unilaterally train the next generation of AI. I introduce Heart of Justice. Let it be so. Yes, Elder, in the back, as custom dictates, you may speak your piece next. Esteemed Minister, it seems clear to me that any universal standard of morality is demonstrably impossible. Tell me, haven't we learned from your recent attempts that all actions are contextual and relative in a way that no AI can fully appreciate, regardless of its training? Good Elder, I must dispute your assertion. We now have the ability to bring uniformity and fairness to the efficient adjudication of actions violating societal values, and by the grace of the spirits, it is our responsibility, nay, our obligation to do so. No, posterity will remember this day and the bold step forward we decide to take together, with full agreement. Yes, unanimity is essential. Secretary, have his comments stricken from the record. This is ignorance. We've gone too far this time. Oh, and Sergeant at Arms, show our dear Elder out. Respectfully, of course. Get your hands off of me. Watch where you're going. I'm so sorry. I was distracted. Whatever will happen to me now? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I gotta tell you, brother. Spill coffee on me anytime you want. I just enjoy getting to decide the consequences for a change. You're speaking truth, brother. You reminded me just now. Once, I had lost my automobile because I spilled coffee on a man in the street, just like this. <laughs> uh, well, I choose to forgive you. You stay safe, think freely, and share joy. Oh, and watch where you carry your coffee next time, brother. Will do. <laughs> <laughs>